Hey, welcome to Lazy Boys Night Special Edition. This is Dude. This is Dude. <laughs> you're flashing your You're giving it away! Um, spoiler! <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, recently, we had, very recently, we had a crappy bowl of mystery question. Uh, about, there's the crappy bowl of mystery. Ooh. We had a question asking us what we thought of the uh, the new Ghostbusters trailer. This is Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yeah. And while we were just debating that, you brought up... I brought up the fact that we had an episode uh, in our first season. The whole conversation was about not only Ghostbusters specifically, but in general about the whole idea where Hollywood uh, Hollywood is, is learning about finally somehow uh, passing the baton. So not rebooting <laughs> series, actually creating a follow-up to the original movies. So the point was we were talking about the Ghostbusters movie with the women. Yes. Yes. So, and we said we, we had a whole debate about that. It was another crappy bowl of mystery question. So here, here it is. is. So enjoy. It's just two guys talking. There they go again saying anything. Talking about nothing. Nothing new to say. Talking anyway. So much to review. So let's have a cold brew. A cold brew. Everybody's talking. It's not. Okay, it's time for another question from the Crappy Bowl of Mystery. Crappy Bowl of Mystery. I know, we gotta come up with a better it's name. It's a crappy name, and that's on you. The Crappy Bowl of Mystery was the best name submitted, so please, submit something better. All right, here's the question. Hurry up, I'm almost done. Don't rush me, dude. All right, um, reboots and remakes, yes or no? Okay, what? Okay. I'm guessing they mean movies and TV shows, reboots and remakes. Yes or no? Actually, before we answer that, we got to distinguish the difference between a reboot and a remake because some people don't know the difference. What is the difference? Well, I'm glad you asked. Okay, a remake is when you just tell the same old story again. Here's the thing. Nobody cares about remakes. Case in point. Okay. Not too long ago, they made Point Break with more extreme sports, but it's the same movie they did with Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. I still don't get the difference. Nobody cares. I'll, I'll get to that. Okay. But nobody cared about the remake. When they did Total Recall, the remake, yeah. nobody, nobody cared. cared. Yeah, everybody liked the Schwarzenegger one. When they, they remade Footloose, right, nobody, nobody cared. cared. Kevin Bacon did it right the first time. Don't bother. Years ago, some director had the brilliant idea to remake Psycho the classic Hitchcock film, frame uh, by, by frame. frame. So it's the exact same movie, just different, different actors. actors. Nobody what? cared. Don't bother with the remakes. Now, reboots is when you take the concept, but you tell new stories with it, with new actors, because the older actors are just either too old or they're dead or they're just unavailable. Case in point, Star Trek. Okay. Okay? William yeah. Shatner, too old and fat. Leonard Nimoy, oh, dead. Nice. Half the cast. He's like in his 80s, man. Uh, yeah, but he's still too old and fat. He can't be the dashing young captain anymore. Okay, fine. Uh, half the cast is dead, uh, and the others are too old. So clearly, you need to reboot it. But they told new stories with it. They did a very well. A very well. Okay, so you're, <laughs> you're all for job. reboots then. No. Oh. No, 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 no. You mentioned Star Trek specifically. Yeah, well, that was a good example. That is where the... Because of the context of the type of film or TV show or whatever... They played around with the whole space-time continuum type of... Basically, they rebooted the old series into what we know now. And to me, that was it was well done. Because it's an alternate universe? Exactly. Okay. So they kind of split off from what we know, and there's two different universes happening. Because Leonard Nimoy from the original is still in there, so they... So there's that kind of okay. a split who did it horribly. And this is... It leaves a really bad taste in my mouth is Ghostbusters. 
<laughs> Holy frick, man. My teeth are gonna shatter. Uh. I cannot believe how long it took to get that third movie made. But it wasn't a third movie. It was a freaking reboot. But not even done well. The actresses, don't talk to me about female leads. They were fantastic. And on a, as a standalone movie, I actually enjoyed it. What me I'm too. I thought it was good. Super pissed about. And I don't know why this comes. Probably because I was waiting like what thirty years before this came out. Like what's uh, the, what, the original span? was eighty four. The Ghostbusters two was what eighty eight, eighty nine, maybe. I don't know. So almost. So roughly, roughly thirty almost years. Almost thirty years of between the the cartoons. The, just the following, how waiting and waiting and waiting and then Dan Aykroyd was working on all these different possibilities and, and in the meantime, one of the main actors passed away and, and I'm, like, I'm like, come on, this is an easy fix. Hollywood, unloosen your tie people from the third or fourth, fifth floor. This is what you have to do. You have... And on top, wait, I'm going to get back to that. On top of that, you actually had the original actors in the film. That's insulting. So, that's freaking insulting. <laughs> the fact that you actually sign them on. But if they were to, now the, here's what you can do with this to fix it. You can actually fix your massive screw up. Okay, I, I'm still waiting. I don't understand what the, what the screw up is. The screw up is that you have 30 years of fans waiting for a third installment. It wasn't a third installment. It was a reboot. So but the you, same thing happened with Star Trek. They got a reboot. So why is yeah, this different they, from Trek? If they want to do... They could actually follow Star Trek. What they did is have an alternate reality type of thing. If you had, for whatever, in the ghost world or however you want to fix it up. But at that point, it should have been a passing of the baton at that point. Passing that, of the torch. Okay. It's too, it's too late. The passing of the torch thing is done. They, they missed that boat. The passing of the torch should have been... Because you had the the uh, one of the actors playing the uncle of one of the girls. It could have been his yeah, place. Yeah. yeah. So that character could have easily uh, still been a Ghostbuster. I'm too old for this shit kind of thing. And pass it it's on to his niece and her colleagues. So you, you were, you were kind of hoping for more of a, a, a next generation sequel. Next gen. Next gen would have been totally acceptable for him. Whereas they did a full on reboot yeah. as if the original movies never exactly. existed. So they denied us a third movie. They started from scratch when everything was there. You had your actors, you had all the new equipment they could have used because it is, okay, we're next gen type of thing. This is where we're going. So you're basically against reboots because the exception being Star Trek was still tied to the original world so while it's a reboot it's it's a split from the original whereas a true reboot is just let's start from scratch and you don't like that because ghostbusters no. restarted from scratch and you didn't like that why why if you're remaking a movie or if you're rebooting a movie it's because the other one was good enough to remake again so don't go screwing that up i'm talking to you and you <laughs> and you don't go screwing it up you have everything there just to rebuild from that it's a passing of the baton. It's such an easy thing. Ten minutes at the beginning of the movie, I would have been good. I would have been sold. I would have been ready for the next movie. And that would have been part four. Not one and then two of a stupid reboot. Now what you do to fix it, listen closely. You make an alternate universe type of thing. Where, this is where the kicker comes in. You can actually still have passing of the baton with... New actors, but you still bring in the four girls, alternate universes where they cross paths, and you have the new Ghostbusters that are all girls, and you have the old Ghostbusters. Don't have to be all boys, but something like that. So, so how do you account for the fact that the old Ghostbusters already appeared as cameos as different characters? Ah, alternate universe. Not everybody's doing the exact same job, not everybody. So you still show up. So for example, we're having this conversation here, and this is what we're doing. But in an alternate universe, right now, we're maybe sitting at, I don't know, McDonald's having a burger in a right, a good McDonald's, a right McDonald's. <laughs> Watch the other episode for that yeah. one. <laughs> so so what you're saying is, is is even though Bill Murray's new character died in the reboot, yeah, that's the old Bill universe. Murray, Peter Venkman, Peter Venkman, could the old 
get some kind of weird ghost flux thing where the two universes collide and oh, they I meet like the girl Ghostbusters. Yeah. I'd be cool with that. Because to be honest, in and of itself, like you said before, the girl Ghostbusters, Girls I thought it was great. great. I Girls thought they were, were great. great. I thought it was funny. I thought it was smart and clever. I do know a lot of haters didn't like them for the simple reason that they were women, and I think that is stupid. And I think my, my wife actually hit the nail on, on the nose with that one. She said, you know why a lot of guys didn't like it? Because these women were powerful and heroic, but had nothing sexual about them. Bull no, 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 seriously. Oh, there was nothing sexy. On. There was nothing That's sexy. That's such a woman response. No, 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 wait, wait for it. Wonder Woman is hot. Look at all the hero chicks. They're usually still hot. These, they're wearing frumpy coveralls. They're kicking ass, but there's nothing That's sexual not about them. I think she has a point. No, she does not have a point. I think she has a point here. Does I think a lot of the guys point. were pissed because no. this is not a hot The guys team. were pissed because they were taking 30 years of history that was robbed from them. That's why we're pissed. I think we can have both here. No. <laughs> we're not having both. That's a chick response. You just heard it live. I think it's a valid point. Live, because we're taping live. We're, <laughs> yes, because this... You're not seeing this By the live, time you see of, this episode, when you us. stream it whenever you want to stream it, it's still live. We're, it's Chick YouTube. response. Oh, uh, dude. Chick that, response. That's, man that's, card. That's such a misogynistic thing to say. Man card. No. It's not misogynistic. I'm telling you the dude, reason I'm, it has nothing to do with the girls. It has nothing to do with... For if, you? If, if it would have been you? the passing of the baton... And okay, first of all, are you the marching the band? Niece? It's passing of the torch. A baton's oh, in the baton. marching band. Yeah, no, a baton. When you're running, the, when you're passing oh, the, the baton. Oh, the relay race. Relay race. Okay. You're passing it on and somebody else but continues. But the expression is passing of the torch. That's stupid. Who passed? Why do you, would you well, for the Olympics? I, I don't know. I didn't I like invent passing it. of the baton. All right, there you go. Passing so, the torch or passing the baton? What if you lit the baton torch? on fire? Okay, fine. I'm fine with the torch. <laughs> You were getting no off topic here. I don't. So anyway, so I guess. So I, I guess the point is. What was the question? Reboots and remakes, yes or no? I guess the no. point is. I keep doing this a lot now. I don't know why. I, dude keeps saying no on both. I say no on remakes. Reboots. Actually, I think you agree. Reboots, if they're well done. But you kind of want reboot to really be more of a next gen, which is no, not a reboot. Exactly. I don't. I don't understand it's reboot. Really... I don't understand. Well, how let me Hollywood ask you this: this much money seen, to waste. Have you seen on Netflix the new reboot for A Lost in Space? No. It's brilliant. Look it up. Because the original show was in the '60s. There's a watch difference. Watch now. Yeah. It's a, it's a complete okay. reboot. And Fine, I'll watch great it. Great concept. You know. It's it's a great great show. Okay, I'll watch All it. Right. I'm, I'm open there you to go. Watch it. All right. So you open mind. Open so mind. So remakes. <laughs> Reboots depends is it done well or not? Can we agree on that? We can agree on that. All right, we agree on that. All right.